Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly oracle reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into this Virgo. Thank you Lord God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. Amen. Alright, so Virgo, let's see what we're dealing with okay haltiness someone is stubborn arrogant conceited they feel like they're the boss they call the shots they're the one with the tension on them the eyes are on them this could be you virgo it could be someone else you're dealing with it could be a masculine energy your lover this could be the the okay so this is the man that you're if you're a woman coming to the reading for a man if you're a man coming to the reading for a man this is the man that you're speaking of he could be haughty arrogant conceited uh boastful this could be the person that you're in love with um they could just be a lover they could be a husband i don't know let's see priest okay so you could be trying to learn something about them or you could be trying to refrain from them or refrain from sexual activity with them or, or yeah, restrain yourself from that. Um, practicing chastity or pious, being pious for some of you or um, just abstinence. Um, some of you are really trying to bring about some change here in this connection. Some of you don't want to get pregnant again yeah because you feel like somebody is being a little playboy out here they have options and anytime you talk to them about this they're willing to do verbal battle about it they will defend their position any time any day they may even spin spin the story around on you or manipulate somehow something is just a no-go here just altogether a no a relationship is a no with this person it might mean the end of a relationship or the end of how you how you deal with the person even if you don't end the relationship it's the end of how you deal with them yeah how you were in service to them how you were in servitude to them how you felt like you were doing for them and presenting to them and going to get for them and making sure this for that and this for them and that and maybe not getting that return to you. Maybe it's like a one-sided connection here. Some conversation that you've had with a female or with other females, I don't know. It brought some insight. It brought uh, clarity. You made a final judgment about this person, place, or thing because it, because of this conversation. Some of you are questioning if somebody is sleeping with somebody at work or while at work with this lover and the priest here. Especially if they work at like a building or a corporation or they get their money from a corporation or something like that. I don't know. You're just concerned. Especially if your person is a traveler. They move about with the soldier here because the soldier is typically moving around, station here, station there. Um, so if your person is moving around in their workplace or whatever they do for work, you're questioning if they are being faithful. If they are practicing abstinence. You know? You're now saying, no, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be in service to this person or in servitude to this person any longer. I'm good. Um... Let's see. Whoop. Okay. I'm going to put these back. If they come back out, then we know they're for you. All right. What does Virgo's person want to say? Or what can we say about Virgo's person? Yeah, new job here. Um, you could be waiting for a new job, Virgo. Are you going to get a new job? Um, your person could have a new job. Um... Whoa. 
Um, I say what I think you need to hear to stay. I'm going crazy without you. Uh, some of you are not with your person. This is crazy as hell. I'm never going to stop cheating. Just a shell of a man or a woman left here. Somebody is just, they have no emotions. It's just a shell. Um, I like to have people fight over me. Throw the whole reading away. I'm, I'm done. I am done. I am not done. But I am done. Um... Some of you are, okay, okay, some of you, your person is, um, or this is you, you're stuck in a marriage where there's no love, there's no sex, um, but you're stuck in that. It's just duty at this point. Somebody's just staying out of duty. Someone does want to put an end, or you may, your person may even ask you to put an end to this outside relationship. And somebody said, hell no, I'm never going to stop cheating. Um, or they may um, start to do something nice for you, or they'll do something nice for you to kind of shift the energy so you're not focused on the fact that they're cheating or they're lying. Somebody, someone is very stubborn, very set in their ways um this could be someone from another culture here with the peacock and the lover um what do we have here for Virgo? new loves coming out for everybody so you may have a new love which could be that new job you have a new lease on life virgo you may be saying something is a no-go anymore it's um the answer is no, no, I'm not going to be of service to you. I'm not going to be of service in this relationship. Could be dealing with a darker male, um, someone who has dark skin, um, maybe even curly hair. Different ethnicity is coming up again. I saw that work again. I got a lot of work cards. Um, I think the cards want you to be focused on getting a new job, finding a new love, or a new hobby, or work. And also, there's something going on at your person's workplace, or what they do for work, or who, what they're doing while they're at work, or who they're talking to. Money. Yeah. Um, look and see where the money is going, because the money is going somewhere. The money from work, work, money. Where's the money going? Um, that'll answer a lot of questions for you. Some of you need to get your own job or your hobby so it can bring you money so you can be independent from. There's a fair male showing up now. Um, he could be significant. Um, he could have lighter skin, lighter eyes. Um, someone could always compliment his eyes. Uh, yeah, past life. This you could have been in a past life with this person. If not, you've already had a life with this person, a relationship with this person, and maybe they're coming back to you, or you, or you feel like it is past life. It's a past life union. You feel like this is a true love union. But you also feel like something is karmic. Somebody could be stuck in a karmic situation, a karmic relationship, karmic marriage. Their true love is outside of the marriage. Their true past life love is outside of the marriage. Um, but they're stuck here. The only card I'm not seeing is prison. Somebody feels like they, they can't get to where they want to be, where they really want to be. So somebody is just despondent right now and not really even dressing up going out taking care of themselves um they're the wallflower they stay home they don't even dress up don't why why put on clothes um let's see what the chakra card is for you somebody's gonna get their karma also for 
of unfair treatment, not being nice. Okay, so zero discipline in every aspect of your life. So I don't know if you have zero discipline, if you're not being disciplined about your work ethic, about um, every aspect of your life from taking care of yourself, self-care, dressing up, going out, um, taking time for yourself, your home, your children. It says zero discipline in every aspect of your life. You do just enough or you, yeah, you do just enough to get by or you do just enough um is what I'm, what I'm hearing <clears throat> you need to heal your heart chakra maybe even your throat chakra um you need to question your desires do you have anything that you really really desire at this point that you really want to see come together for you and not come together in terms of another person and another relationship but come together for you what are your independent desires what are the desires of your heart for the desires of a man, for the a man speaketh, speaketh the desires of his heart. Okay, so what you desire starts first in your heart. All right, so I don't know. Some of you just kind of checked out, checked out of life right now. What tarot card really um, sums all of this up? Puts it together. Give me one tarot card. Okay. Oh, my gosh. And we got the Nine of Pentacles. So, some of you are craving independence and you don't have it. You're craving to be that independent, abundant person. You may even have a business idea. Something that could actually work, but you need to put the work behind it. You had several work cards about you. Um... Putting in work on yourself, for yourself, starting something for yourself. It's, this card talks about having a business idea and being restless in your current position, but not taking any action, needing to be a savvy business owner.